I know you're wondering, what the heck is that? Rabbit feed. That's what that is. You can tell me why you think I might be throwing rabbit feed on my newly planted yams. Leave a comment in the comments section. Today, I'm going to attempt to build some sort of a trellis for these yams. And I'm going to continue burning some stuff in holes. This is paracord. It's my favorite kind of rope in the whole world. You can even use it for shoelaces. Holds 500 pounds, and it makes me feel like a hero because of our brave men and women on the front. They use paracord. By the way, the Army Navy surplus is the bomb. But they usually only sell the green stuff. I have a feeling I'm going to have to hammer these things back in again uh, when, it, when it gets a little wetter because they're going to start to want to fall over. But for now, we'll give the yam something to climb on. Staking up yams like a man. Getting wild coffee from the bush when I can. Soap so steep at spots I can stand. Hoping that I don't cut again through my hand. Turning up the hard red clay on my land Sometimes wishing I was back in the sand Living in the tropics but I don't have a tan In a few months I'll be digging up the yam and Making yam hash browns like a boss in a pan Like and subscribe to my channel like a fan Um, yeah, yeah, yeah Let's use the freezer part of this fridge garden for an experiment Let's do a Pinterest experiment. On Pinterest, you may have seen people taking tomatoes, throwing slices down in their gardens, and letting them sprout. So let's do it. We will simply throw some tomato bits on top of the ground. This tomato was half rotten. So now I've got rotten tomato on me just for you because I love all of you. And we will just take these bits of tomato and lay them out here. There's some tomato sludge. I squished a tomato in here the other day and just kind of buried it, so there's probably gonna be some of that coming up. We will just leave these tomatoes here and see if we end up with tomato plants. It's really dry right at the moment, so I should probably start watering it in, but this'll be our Pinterest experiment. And we'll see what happens. Let's take a look at the gardens here. Some of these cabbages in the middle are starting to make heads. And then we have a tiny, tiny head of cauliflower coming out there. I don't know how that's gonna do. This thing has suffered. It's been very dry. If we get a bunch of rain, it might do all right. Here we've got some, right here, this is tobacco, which is making seed heads. That's a seed pot from tobacco. Inside of it are the seeds. That dust right there, that's tobacco seeds. That's why it's a little bit tricky. I've got videos from long ago on how to germinate and grow your own tobacco. But what I've been doing is looking for open pieces of ground and dropping the seeds all over the ground. Because I talked to a local guy and he said where his house is, see he's got a scattering of tobacco just growing randomly around his yard. And he said, they just drop seeds and they start everywhere. In the cracks, anywhere you break the ground, tobacco comes up. So we'll see if that happens. Maybe I'll start a uh, tobacco plantation. Peppers are looking nice. I actually have to harvest some. Stick them in the freezer until I have enough to make some really good sauce. Or maybe I'll dry them. It's a really pretty 
they could use some more water, but the hot peppers are a lot tougher than bell peppers and they're not suffering all that much. Here's the smaller fridge garden and we have more things coming up. What is that? Yeah, that looks like, um, that's a loblolly pine is what that is, obviously. There's another pine coming up right there. And yet a third pine. I must have thrown some loblolly pine seeds into my compost. These right here are actually papaya. All these papaya coming up from all the papaya guts we threw in the compost. They're popping up through the layer of what should have been sterile potting soil on the top. It was, I'm sure, but underneath there's some compost and that's where they're coming from. So what I'm gonna do, since I don't see any lettuces of all the lettuces we planted, and I don't see any spinach coming up, and as I told you, that were old, those were old seeds. That's why I threw so many in here, just to see if anything happened. I am going to just let these papaya grow in here and get a little bit established, and then I will transplant them out. And we'll find out what we'll do with these pines later. The first set of leaves on these beans really didn't look all that hot. As you can see, they're not in great shape. But the secondary leaves that are coming in look nice, and they're starting to green up because they have almost certainly formed a relationship with the nitrogen fixing bacteria in the soil. I was a little bit worried because they were looking pretty yellow when I first put them in here, but uh, they've started to green up, which means that the proper uh, rhizobial bacteria were available to them in the soil and they're starting to green. So that's good, we'll see how they do. Like I said before, I've had very bad luck with regular old beans here. I've had good luck with snake beans, but not good luck with bush beans but they're looking all right so far. We'll see what happens. I've got a second fire pit going now. This area here is just a big pile of mess. And this pit right here I'm using to burn up. I cleared this whole, this whole area right here was logs and uh, sticks. So I've been just kind of throwing the logs along the edge of the fence line here and then uh, a lot of the smaller sticks and a few logs to keep it burning. I've been throwing in this pit. That way we can burn without it spreading through the neighborhood. And uh, it's a good thing we do it this way too because one of my neighbors actually just this afternoon lit a fire and then left his place and the fire ended up spreading into the bush that was growing around his place and there's a bunch of dry grass out there and it started running and some folks that we knew called the fire department and got out there with their garden hose and started spraying it down and the guy didn't even know about it until later. So uh, yeah, it's very dangerous. It had actually spread about 20 or 30 feet, burned some banana trees and some other things, but it got put out thanks to um, one of the neighborhood kids having his eyes open and spotting it and then telling his mom. So yeah, we're burning in a pit and you can see there's a decent amount of breeze still. It's always blowing. And so if, if it jumped out of here and it jumped into there, that would be a bad deal. So now that I have this pit right here that I discovered, probably this is where the trapdoor spider was living, we can just throw stuff into here and I've got one burn pit going over here and then I've got the burn pit going way over there where the main gardens are. So I've got two areas digesting thorn bushes at the moment. Until next time, may your thumbs always be good. Here, bunny, bunny, bunny. Here, bunny, bunny. Here, bunny, bunny, bunny. Here you go, bunny, bunny, bunny. Here, bunny, bunny, bunny. It's bunny beans. There you go, bunny beans.